Hi, in this tutorial we'll be looking at destruction in Typhlow. To get started we'll click on the box and create a simple rectangular wall. This will serve as the object we destroy in this tutorial. And then we'll create a sphere. This is the object we're going to be breaking our wall with. So once that is set, I will just set that, make that a bit higher. And yep, it's a bit, make it a bit lower, roughly in the middle-ish. Set it back. Once you're done with this, we will be moving on to simple animations in Typhlow. To do this, hit auto key on the very bottom, and then we will begin create a a first time position. Then we move forward, set it at ten frames. Move it again, set it to twenty frames. Move it again at 30 frames. And once we're done, hit auto key again. And we'll just let that play, see how it runs. Yep, that's perfect. Now, once you're happy with that, we'll begin loading in Typhlow. So you click on Typhlow and enter the Typhlow object. Now we'll be entering the editor, opening up the editor. So go to modifier, click on open editor. And in this, first of all, we'll be loading in a birth object. In our objects, pick the wall. And we also want the fracture pattern to be a brick fracture. So we will load that in under birth objects. And we will also need to enable the function. And as you can see, or it's a bit hard to see, but you can see the particles already generating on the wall. To make that a bit more visible, in display, we'll change it from small dots to geometries. To geometries, yep. And as you can see, the brick pattern is already starting to form. We will select our box in 3ds Max. Right click and hide the selection so that you can only see the tie flow version of the geometry. <clears throat> now for in brick fracture, we will set the length to we we'll set the pan to a uniform size, so length to 25, width to 25, and also the height to 25, and also change the offsets to zero. This just makes it easier for us to create the the smashing effect <coughs> with the uniform brick pattern. To create the effect, the breaking effect, load in a physics shape put that underneath the brick fracture and when you play it you should see the brick pan starting to crumble it's a bit laggy but yep you'll see it sort of crumble but it doesn't it's not crumbling in the style we would expect it to work to fix that we'll need to load in a physics switch put that underneath shape in switch turn it on to kinematic and when you play it, it's not doing anything at the moment. That's because it's not recognizing the um, the collision yet. So we need to add in a surface test, put that underneath the switch, and pick the sphere, and set the distance to 15. When we run that again, it's still not working because we need to add in another a, another physics physics collection collision sorry so when we add that in we will connect surface test with the collision and in collision we need to pick the ball again and we need to we also need to put another physics switch put that on top and this switch turn it onto dynamic and when you play it you realize the ball will smash into the wall as we intended and it will generate the particles. The particles is the debris which once we set it to from small dots to geometry should be very clearly our in intended brick cubes. And that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something. Thank you.